Started rock block keeps <laughs> happening. I don't know what wow. that is. Wow. 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 Troy Baker. <laughs> I love that you like stuttered. You went, that's who is that? Who is this guy? Who is it's this guy? your hair. You cut off all your hair. You did the Samson move. You don't have strength anymore. It's it's weird. I look at E3 like the beginning of the year. Yeah. And so like January, it's like the Chinese New Year for me. Because this is like when we get to see everything for the sure. first time, so there's like a freshness to it. So I I, uh, I decided to chop it. Well, there, it wasn't for E3. It wasn't for a roll. No. With what, what I do? No. Put it back in a ponytail. Put it in the helmet. But you should have seen literally all the. I I, I had to talk. Uh, the, I have a great friend who who cuts my hair, and uh, she had to have a moment to to like bring herself to. But it it was like below my shoulders. Yeah, yeah long, it was long, long. beautiful. And all the box. floor was just like this. It looked like someone had just thrown the carcasses of gerbils just no. on the floor. It was great. It's fine. Let's talk about Uncharted. I, okay, so you, you, we, we sit back and we work on the game for, for a long time, and, and you know we, we get to play it out in our mind and what way it's going to look. Yeah. The first time that I got to see the demo finalized, finished, was at the press conference. And I was sitting right next to Laura Bailey. And Never heard of her. Which she's a she's a brilliant actress. She she was the belle of the ball. She was in a lot of trailers. Uh, there was a lot. I was like, there we go. Abdicated the throne. She's coming for your throne, yeah. She is, man. If she can have it, she's talented. But we're sitting there watching it, and I, dude, I, I go back to you know, me as a fanboy, you know, five six years ago, and being such a fan of this franchise, and never, never would have thought that I would be sitting in that seat. First of all, every time I get to go to the press conference or, or coming to E3 or whatever, I still feel like I'm, I've fooled somebody that I've somehow sure. snuck in the back door. And to, to be sitting there uh, watching that on that massive screen and hearing the, the people's response and seeing how good it looks to be in an Uncharted game is, is like feather in the cap. It's amazing. Is it, is it a different vibe working on that game and doing the mocap and stuff for it and the, you know, obviously capturing all the stuff at the same time than Last of Us? Yeah, I mean, there's... Every game is, is intrinsically going to have its own DNA. It's going to feel differently when you're making it. Um, and Uncharted has its own voice. It has its own thing. And that's, you know, The Last of Us had that challenge, making sure that even though it was a Naughty Dog game, it wanted to feel like a Naughty Dog game but not feel like Uncharted. Sure. Uh, with, with two different people walking around. Um, so going back to Uncharted, this is the first time I've ever been on the set of Uncharted. Yeah. But it's fun to see, you know, Nolan riff and, and all the things you think about as a fan to see, oh, this actually does happen. He and Sully do each other cross between things. Um, but yeah, in, in this, to me, one of the challenges of, of doing a franchise is making sure that you're not just rehashing and going, now we're going here. And right, right. It, it feels like a different experience. And I think that from, from the top down, from what Neil and Bruce, the game that they're creating, Josh, the game that he's writing, um, and letting this feel like, it's the culmination of something that fans have been with for almost 10 years, yeah. you know, um, and making this feel like a payoff to some of the other things. There's things to me that, that as a fan, I look and I see we're paying off from one, from two, from three, and, and making this feel like a different experience and that you, as, as fans, have grown with this franchise. The characters have grown through the franchise. It's a different Nate Drake. It's a yeah. different Sully. Uh, you got this new character, Sam, that comes in that kind of like, you know, shakes up the mix a little bit. The relationship between Nate and, and Elena is a little bit different, so... It's the next year, you have a game that's very, that's imminent. Yes. It's imminent. Batman, of course. Yeah. Yes. Are you, are you excited for everyone to finally get their hands on this bad boy? Yeah, and what I love about that game is, you know, it, they're, they're finally lauding it as, you know, the, the epic uh, uh, culmination <laughs> of that franchise as well, and... and I was super surprised at the at the Sony presser, the the intro that they showed to that. I, that um, was my tweet of like, oh, you haven't finished Arkham City? Fuck you. You're out of time. This is how it ends. But even, I mean, starting off first person that way, going in uh, with a great VO from, from Gordon, um, to me, it really sets totally what that game is. It's always been a dark game, yeah. but that was like really dark. We're going back to even darker than what like the, the Scarecrow missions were in the original Asylum. And it, it still takes me back, like, I read Arkham Asylum, the graphic novel, years and years ago, and when I found out they were making the game, I, I didn't know how they were going to take that graphic novel. Like, of all the graphic novels, why would you take that one and try to turn it into a game? And the way that they've iterated upon that, first of all, shows the strength of the Batman franchise that, you know, not only over 75 years of history, but to be able to take something like that and be able to embellish upon it 
and incorporate all different elements into it, and then create your own narrative and your own version of those characters through yeah. that, and have that be so prolific, really says a lot about Rocksteady and 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 again the Batman franchise. I'm super thrilled that I got to come back because I got two phases of fluke. I, I was originally coming in to do some some one-off characters, and, and I got to do Nightwing, and then they said, hey, do you think you could do this?